So let's uh, bring you this, and it is uh, breaking news at this hour. ENCA can exclusively reveal that banks have dumped the company formerly known as Bosasa. The financial institutions have formally notified African Global Operations of their intention to terminate its accounts. We understand the banks are citing reputational risk as the key driver behind that decision. They will terminate the accounts on or before the last day of February, that's this month. As a result of the bank's actions, Bosasa bosses have announced that the company is going into voluntary liquidation. The company says about 4,500 employees will lose their jobs along with over 3,000 contractors. The company has appointed a liquidator to wind up its operations. All right, uh, let's uh, give you a bit of uh, background and remind you about Bosasa's history. The group is now known as African Global Operations. Bosasa was founded in 1981. Its focus on providing services to government, mainly the Department of Correctional Services. Now, the state capture inquiry has exposed allegations of corruption by former and current executives. The Hawks have arrested six people linked to these claims. They include whistleblower Angelo Agriti and former correctional services heavyweights Linda T and Patrick Gillingham. The Hawks are chasing another suspect who's abroad.